I think that's David. All right, guys. Welcome to Pasai's Inferno. This is going to be our first of two info sessions for spring 2022. So this is our theme for this semester. Not semester, just the info session. So about this thing. It's inspired by Singles Inferno, the new hit Korean drama slash Korean romance slash Korean tragedy slash Korean comedy on Netflix that just dropped on Netflix. But this isn't Singles Inferno because we're actually Psy. And Psy is a support group, not a, not a dating show, uh, not a dating simulator or a reality show. So let's just keep that in mind. We're a support group. We'll, go, we'll get into that more later. But um, yeah, welcome in. Thank you for coming through. I'll tell you about us. Next slide. All right. So let's get on to our icebreaker. Wait, is it not loading? Icebreaker. <laughs> let's get on to our icebreaker. So the icebreaker of tonight is going to be called SoundCloud. <laughs> So what's going to happen is I'm going to ask you guys a series of questions and what you're going to do, if you're comfortable with it, you're going to unmute your mic and answer it. But here's the ish. Everyone's going to answer it at the same time. Everyone's going to talk over each other. So um, we're going to hear um, an Armageddon of uh, sounds together to form one big answer. I'm really excited about this. So if you're comfortable, please uh, unmute your mic. So, um, or Cor, can I ask you to unmute your mic so <laughs> to answer to, <laughs> if you're comfortable? <laughs> and if you don't want to answer any of these questions, then you don't have to make an answer. So the first question is, uh, how are you in one word? Uh, three, two, one. I okay. oh. Spicy. All right. Nice answer, nice answer. Now I have a second question for you. What fruit or vegetable would describe you in one word? I'll give you guys 10 seconds to think of an answer. Papaya. Rambutan. Mango. <laughs> Lemon. Mangoes. <laughs> Mangoes. Good job, good job. All right, that's going to be a multi-word answer this time around. So the question is, what is your go-to boba order? I'll give you guys another 10 seconds to think of an answer. Uh, classic right. boba milk. No, 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 all right, the next question. Pineapple on pizza. I'll give you guys five, five seconds to answer. Yes, sir. Yes. No. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yes. All right, now we have a different question. So um, I'm going to give you guys a math problem. It's going to be in the chat in a couple seconds. All right, there's the math problem. You're gonna have to simplify that. You're gonna have to simplify that. All right, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to say the answer out loud. Like the airport, like, let me hear what's the airport. Answer in five, four, three, two, one. X. One half. One half. One half. One half. All right, here's the next question. Um, what is your favorite mental health activity? I'll give you guys 10 seconds. Let's go. Drinking coffee. Oh, yes. okay. music. Traveling. All right, next question. What is your favorite color? 10 seconds.
Green. 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 Good job. I like those colors. All right, this time, what is your favorite color? But this time, it has to have six letters in it. <laughs> Orange. 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 <laughs> All right. What is your go-to in and out meal? I'll give you guys 10 seconds. Sorry, vegetarians. You'll have your chance next round. Two double doubles with lemonade. All right. So, what is your go-to In-N-Out meal, but this time without meat? I'll give you guys ten seconds to think of an answer. Two double doubles without meat, banana peppers on the side, and meat fries. All right, thank you guys for the icebreaker. Good work, team. I knew we could come up with some good answers together. Next slide. Okay. Tasai recognizes that UC Berkeley sits on the territory of the Huichen, the ancestral and unceded land of the Chochenyo speaking Ohlone people, the successors of the sovereign Verona Band of Alameda County. This land was and continues to be of great importance to the Muwekma Ohlone tribe and other familial descendants of the Verona band. We recognize that every member of the Berkeley community has and continues to benefit from the use and occupation of this land since the institution's founding in 1868. Consistent with our values of community, inclusion, and diversity, we have a responsibility to acknowledge and make visible the university's relationship to native peoples. As members of the Berkeley community, it is vitally important that we not only recognize the history of the land on which we stand, also we recognize that the Muwekma Ohlone people are alive and flourishing members of the Berkeley and broader Bay Area communities today. All right, guys, so like I said earlier, I'm a divulge. I'm not sure if that's the right word. I'm gonna get into who we are as Pasai. So established in 1988, the Philippine X Association of Scientists, Architects, and Engineers, PSI, serves as a close-knit support group for students in the technical fields, providing student members a space for social interaction, cultural understanding, professional guidance, and academic support. At a glance, uh, PSI has 25 majors represented. Uh, ranging from computer science to urban studies, spanning all UC Berkeley colleges. Uh, we have about, we have over 150 active alumni and professional contacts working in fields like tech, biopharma, education, and more. Uh, our members span three universities and two continents. And infinity is the amount of memories you'll create with us. Yeah, and some alumni highlights. Uh, our alumni have gone on to work in various industries and companies such as NASA, Microsoft, uh, Google, Facebook, Tesla, et cetera, as well as numerous uh, grad school, law school, uh, and medical schools, such as uh, University of Wisconsin, Stanford, uh, UC Davis, and right here at UC Berkeley. All right, so Pasai has uh, three pillars um, that we set ourselves into. So there's the family pillar, uh, where uh, we organize the intern and general member programs, uh, plan fundraisers, and uh, build not just web development skills, but just like a lot of different um, skills within the uh, website area, I guess. Um, professionalism, which is the external component. Uh, we plan professional development workshops where you can get a lot of resume um, interview help and such, uh, network with a lot of different companies and alumni, like for example, last year, uh, we met with Jillian and we have something planned with Amazon this semester. And we also just organize a lot of study groups and academic resources so that um, 
you can do well in your classes. Uh, lastly, we have the innovation pillar, uh, which works on a lot of social media and graphic design, and also handles uh, photography and videography. So if you're interested in those types of areas, um, that would be for you. And lastly, plan a lot of engaging social events that you'll find more about later. So yeah, um, just like a quick glance at some events we had last semester, uh, we had like a uh, introductory social um, on the Glade where like uh, new members could, like talk to each other and potential staffers. I believe we're doing something like that uh, this semester as well. So keep um, uh, posted. We also did um, ice skating uh, out in Oakland, uh, which is pretty fun. Had, uh, like I mentioned, the uh, professional panel with uh, Gilead. And lastly, we had a professional development day uh, led by the EVPs. Uh, going on, uh, we do a lot of uh, community outreach as well. Um, the Engineering for Kids uh, Fair, E4K, uh, the Bay Area Science Fair, also known as BASIF, and the Berkeley Project, which I believe is some sort of environmental uh, group. Uh, next, uh, yeah, just going on what I talked about before, we have um, a lot of alumni mixers. I think we have one planned for this semester. Uh, company tours, um, not sure if we're going to get those yet because of the COVID situation, but um, hopefully we'll have some online events to make up for that. And lastly, a lot of professional workshops where you can get ready for internships and the real world. And lastly, and uh, my personal favorite uh, part of Psy is the fun and social events we do. So as you can see here, we have ice skating, food and boba runs, some trips to SF, uh, brunches, and a lot more. One additional feature we have, which a lot of you are already familiar with, is our Poseidon Kicks program. So, um, traditionally, you could um, you could sign up to be an intern. So interns get paired with one of our staffers, and we'll go through all of our staffers. You get you can um, get a glimpse of all of us briefly, see which one that you like really like, and then um, you can work with them. Right. So you'll get experience in various uh, fields such as web development, marketing, management. These are a lot of uh, soft skills that translate really well into all sorts of uh, fields that you're going to get into in the future. You could also plan workshops, professional events, socials, and then um, you can, this allows you to get a lot of really nice isolated time with um, a small group of people that you can get to know really closely. I had a lot of fun with this my freshman year when I joined it, and I think it's really worth it. Additionally, um, don't click the next slide just yet. Um, if you don't have that much time, like if, you, if your capacity is tight, um, we're accommodating for that. So instead of applying as an intern, you can apply to be a general member. So being a general member has its perks because um, you get the perks of being in PSI, right? You can attend our meetings, attend our, um, our workshops, events, mixers, socials, without all the pressure of um, doing uh, work with your staffer, right? So you're not gonna be tied to a staffer, but you'll still get the benefits of being within PSI. Yeah, we just want, um, yeah, don't hear from us, but uh, one of our, in last semester, uh, Riva can speak on her experiences. Okay, hi, <laughs> I'm Riva. I'm a first year mechanical engineering major. And last semester I interned under external vice presidents, Angela and Avery. And to be honest, when I first joined Sasai, I thought everyone would be really nerdy and like antisocial because it's STEM. But from my experience, everyone turned out to be really chill, friendly and helpful. And one of my favorite things about Kasai is how social it is. It was surprisingly really easy to get close to everyone. Like I hang out with people from the club every week. I'm literally at Avery's apartment right now. <laughs> there are weekly general, <laughs> general meetings, workshops, and monthly socials. And out of the four clubs I'm in, it turned out to be the club I was most involved in last semester. Um, professionally, they, have, they helped me start my resume and held events where we could interact with actual companies. Like when we had an in-person panel with the biotech company Gilead. And overall, I've gotten so much advice and help from people in Versailles that I can definitely say that my first semester at Berkeley would have been the same without them.
All right, thank you for that, Riva. So now we're gonna get into meeting court 34. Booyah, there's all uh, 14 of us with our brilliant, beautiful faces. We got the whole gang up in there. Next slide. So we're gonna go off into the first of the three pillars. Meet our internal pit rush. Um, big time rush, but with all the um, all the awesomeness and without the clout, or now we got clout too, but we're an up and coming band. So there's me, Emuel, Kiana, and Angelo. Yeah. I like the candle. Wait, what is this? All right, so here's me. I'm the internal president of PSI. I go by he, him, his. I'm from Union City, California. 510 represent, unmute your mic from your fear from 510. Let's go. Woo! You don't have to unmute. I'm a junior and I'm studying data science right now. Um, as you can see, I really love coffee. Um, I collected a lot of records over the past year. I'm proud of having bootleg Frank Ocean records. And I really like cooking shoyu ramen. And then if you're trying to play katana, I'm always down to play katana. <clears throat> All right, so what we'll do if you join me and become my intern, you'll help me run the internal component. You'll facilitate the weekly intern class, which will entail hosting general member meetings and uh, workshops. And then I think like a big part of this is um, keeping everyone together tight because we're family, you know? And in the words of um, that one guy from Fast and Furious, we're family and the family is most important. And what you will learn or gain, You'll learn how to run and facilitate um, really well. There's a lot of public speaking in this. And if like, if it's, if you're trying to improve those skills, um, you improve it a lot in the setting because you have to talk a lot. You know, practice makes perfect. Hello, uh, my name is Emuel. I'm the wellness coordinator. Um, but first, some things about me. I'm a third year material science uh, and engineering student. Um, it says that I might be minoring in data science. I don't think I will be anymore, but um, I still have taken the basic classes. So if you ever need help. Um, but uh, I'm from San Diego, specifically the 609 area. And some fun facts about me are that I cry a lot lot. So I've cried at least three times this past week. Um, I work in a semiconductor facility. Um, so if you want uh, information about like um, work study or like anything about working in a lab, I can like give you some like information for me to ask questions. Um, and then my free time is usually spent napping. Yeah. So like I said before, I um, am a wellness coordinator. So what I do is I facilitate workshops and events. Um, if you were um, within like the information or if you were like hearing news uh, last semester, I did a couple of wellness workshops um, and such as like handling stress, we did sexual wellness. We also like tackled nutrition. So like, those are some of the things that I do. I just try to give you guys as much information as possible. Um, and I try to give you guys resources to like ensure your mental, physical and emotional well-being. Um, and if you come intern for me, um, you can learn new like new life skills such as balancing school and work and like your emotions. Cause like, I know that, that was really hard for me when I first started in Berkeley. So it's also really like chill. Like, yeah, anyways, um, also self-care. Um, you can plan your own workshops if you're interested um, or if you have any good ideas and I can help you. So if you have any ideas for events, it doesn't need to be like just wellness, like we can work together and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, we can also make music playlists, um, send it to the people on uh, in the, the, the Discord and the Messenger chat. And then you also get a new friend, but I'll be your friend regardless. You should just intern for me though. Okay, hello, can you hear me okay? Yeah? All righty. Hello, I'm Kiana. I'm the secretary for CORE. 
I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a third year studying data science. It says that I have a CS minor, but I don't know how we're going to do with that for a while now. <laughs> um, I'm originally from Saipan, which is a little island. Um, it's a U.S. territory near Guam. I moved to San Diego before high school started for me, and now I'm in Berkeley. Um, fun facts, I sleep a ton. I'm really old, so um, I like to sleep at 1030 if I could. Um, I have an unhealthy obsession with SpongeBob. Gift giving is my love language to my loved ones and my future interns. And I have at least 20 stuffed animals in my room. Next slide, please. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Um, for Pasai, I manage Pasai's um, calendars and make sure con um, events don't conflict with the other orgs or within, you know, Pasai too. I send weekly emails and keep the drive organized and help support the rest of Core 34. They're like logistics for their events or anything I can do to help. I also run core meetings. So as my intern, you will bother or help support the rest of Core 34 and get to know them as well. Witness and help with Core 34 meetings, gain a friend, and obtain so many memes because that's just how I communicate. Hey, click please. Yeah, please be my intern. I would love it. Thank you so much. Okay, hello. Apologies, my camera is not working. I wish it was, but it's totally fine. Um, I'm Angelo, uh, the treasurer of Pasai. Um, there's another Angel Baganza, so I usually just go by Jello, so that's easier for everyone to uh, distinguish between us. Um, as you can see on the left side, I'm from Vallejo, California, I'm, which is like 30, 20 minutes north of Berkeley. Um, I'm a data science major, that's also a third year, and um, I'm a Cancer Sun, Aries, Moon, Cancer Rising, I think. I have like four cancer placements, so I'm very emotional. Um, bottom left are my favorite songs. Uh, I added some stuff in the bio, so as you can see, favorite colors, favorite Filipino food, um, favorite animals, capybara, as you can tell, and then, um, yeah, that's basically me. So, as my intern, you will be, uh, click please, I have like three paragraphs. Yeah, there's you guys, me. And so if you're a treasurer intern, you guys will have help me handle precise finances, which are sponsorships, reimbursements, a lot of reimbursements, or purchase requests for different events. Uh, help organize and oversee fundraisers, raisers, such as the Olympia fundraiser. Uh, last semester, we did the night market. And this semester, I think we're going to do serenades. And you'll also learn how to do the payment reimbursements and learn some personal finance. Yeah, um, so next up we have our external component. Um, yeah, let's just get into meeting all six of us. Uh, hello, my name is Avery Perez. Uh, I'm the co-external president for Sai. Uh, I go by he and his pronouns. My third year, also from Union City, California. So I've known Manny since like third grade. And uh, my major is EECS and I'm minoring in data science and music. Uh, some facts about me, uh, as many of you may know, I listen to a lot of K-pop, which is why I'm also on dance teams now in Berkeley. Uh, I also enjoy playing percussion, so I'm in the wind ensemble in Cal, I like drums, xylophone, that kind of stuff. And uh, my home pen is pretty much in Pasai, which is kind of funny. I also just got picked up last semester. And uh, yeah, I play uh, a lot of league as well, if you want to add me uh, there on the bottom right. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm the other co-external president. Uh, I'm the other Angelo, uh, Angelo Briganza. I'm a third year uh, mechanical engineering major, uh, data science minor. I use the he, him. Um, didn't really put fun facts. Fun facts about me. Yeah, I'm currently in Europe for the time being. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really cold here. Uh, but when I'm not in Europe, uh, I like hanging out with my Pam. Um, Hollow weekend, that was fun. Uh, I golf now, apparently. But yeah, 
Uh, that's me. I also love going to Cal football games uh, and I like traveling, which is why I'm in Europe right now. Yeah, so as our, the external president, uh, what me and Avery uh, do, uh, we're in charge of networking with alumni, professionals, and companies uh, to gain further contacts uh, for PSI members. Uh, we collaborate with other PIL orgs, uh, and right now we're planning Pathways to, uh, 2022. Um, and then we also lead professional development workshops and, and programming throughout the semester. Uh, so what you will learn is uh, communication management skills, as well as resume and career tips, and apparently secrets of Psy, even I don't know all secrets of Psy, but uh, I guess we'll see. Hello, it's me again. Um, so Therese, our computer science rep slash webmaster, couldn't be here, so I'm going to be reading her slides for her. So Therese is a third year as well, and she is studying data science with a social policy and law emphasis. She's also from San Diego, also the 619 area, and she likes baking, reading, and beautiful views, such as everyone here. That's how she would say it, anyways. Um, so what she does is computer science rep, um, and now webmaster, she uh, is essentially an academic resource for students taking computer and data science courses. So if that interests you, contact her, like just text her about it. She's super cool, super chill. Um, she collaborates with external component with tech related professional events and coding projects. And she maintains and updates the PSI website as webmaster, as well as filter and update PSI, PSI's confession. And as her intern, You'll be helping her with all of that. So you'll help plan STEM events with external. You'll collaborate with other components on deploying new features and resources. And you'll be her friend. She, like, she loves you guys. Yeah, you should intern for her too. Hello, I am Michael. I use the he, him, his pronouns. And I am from Fort Myers, Florida, 239, I guess. I'm a third year. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering with a minor in aerospace engineering. Uh, these aren't very interesting fun facts, but they are fun facts, I guess. So I'm doing the Berkeley Half Marathon in February. So uh, it's never too late to sign up, but you will have to pay more, but you, sh you should run it. It's fun. Uh, I'm addicted to Smash. You can come to my apartment if you want to play in two weeks because one of us got COVID. Uh, and then I went to Hawaii over break. So that was fun. Okay, next slide. And if you're uh, under me, um, oh wait, sorry. Uh, so what I do is in general, I kind of just help out all the College of Engineering people. Uh, I'm a liaison with the ESC and the COE. So I'm a member of the Equity and Inclusion Committee. Um, there's meetings every week for that. And I just kind of help serve as like a representative for uh, in that regard. Uh, I also just kind of very broadly speaking, I'll help plan out events with companies and faculty. And so what you'll do for me is you're going to plan workshops and events. So last semester, uh, we had SpaceX come give a talk and we also had a, we had a fusion workshop. Um, this semester, we'll probably have like a 3D printing workshop, I think. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then you'll also develop professional and technical skills, network with engineers, gather info about opportunities, and you'll make cool stuff. Um, something I'd like to do with my interns this semester is maybe have some kind of small project they work on. And then you can have it made at Jacobs. Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Tori Fierro. I'm the life sciences representative. I use she, they. I'm currently a senior in bioengineering. And I lived in Manila and at one point Antioch. So I'm kind of from the Bay, not really. Fun facts about me, I cut and dye my own hair. I don't know if you can see, but it's green partially. I have a major sweet tooth. I'm always eating candy. And this past winter, I got to see Metallica live, which was really cool. Um, so as a life sciences rep intern, what you'll get to do is like plan events with me. Uh, last semester, we had Gilead do a panel and we recently got emailed for Natera to do something with us. 
Um, and pretty much any company, biotech or life sciences company you'd like to connect to, um, I will help you reach that point. You can connect with professionals, get advice on courses in your career, um, have access to resources, and of course, make friends. Hello, everyone. My name is Noah Rambawa. I use he, him pronouns. Apologies for the camera. My internet's down right now, so I'm on my phone. Um, I'm an urban studies major, graduating this semester, and I'm from Fairfield, California, 707. Um, and then some fun facts about me. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I post a lot of memes about the dangers of cars and the horrors of cars and how cars have ruined our cities in an attempt to politically mobilize, mobilize people. Um, also, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, so I'm super hyped for Legends Arceus to come out this Friday. And starting next week, once we go back to in-person, I will be commuting 70 miles round trip to Berkeley for classes. So that'll be fun. And so what you'll be what you will be doing as the, an intern for me, your primary role will be to acting, will be acting as the academic liaison between CED, its students, and those interested in architecture, landscape architecture, planning, and environmental design. And this semester, we really want to focus on defining the future of the ED intern role and also um, the ED rep role. Um, it's super open-ended. You can do basically whatever you want. And in addition, you'll also help me plan projects and events between PSI and other CED orgs. Right now, we're focusing on the event with the California Air Resources Board. And then you also gain academic and emotional support, connect more with the CED community, and also gain friendship and food. So yeah, if that sounds cool, you should intern for me. Hey everyone, the last component, last but not least is the creative component. Uh, it's the two Joshes, Jared and Wilson, my MJ. So let's get to it. Um, so I'm Josh, I'm the creative director. I go by the he and him pronouns. I'm a third year studying data science and econ and I'm from Santa Clarita, California. Um, some fun facts about me is that my I am basketball team freshman year went 0-8. Um, I watched Trey Young get blocked on a game winner live in person, and my first basketball shoes were KD6s. So if you were to be a creative director intern, the number one thing we'd work on right away is Passerinades. Um, I think IDD is on February 12th, so you could join me for the last two days of Passerinades, join us for some performances, and then we'd also be designing merch throughout the semester as well as stickers and we'd work on overseeing the creative component and just working on making Pasai a home for everyone because we're in charge of Pasai's public image. So we're going to work together to make it a home. Hey everyone, I'm Jared. Um, I'm the public relations officer. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm from Vallejo, California. Um, I'm, doubly, uh, I'm double majoring in computer science and cognitive science and I'm in fourth year. Um, some fun facts about me is that I love Star Wars, um, and I thought I had more here, but I guess I don't, uh, but hopefully the array of pictures can supplement that. Um, so like I said, I'm the public relations officer, and as public relations, we're pretty much uh, responsible for all of the graphics and flyers uh, that are posted to the pretty much just Instagram, uh, but also the Facebook events. Uh, um, and what you or I or what we will do, um, if you turn under me, is we'll develop and exercise our illustrator skills, uh, make fun graphics, um, bond, make friends, and uh, have fun. Um, and to the right, I have some examples of some of the stuff that interns have made um, in the past. Um, and you might be thinking maybe I'm not creative enough or have the artistic ability to, to do this, uh, but I say that that is okay. Um, if you want to intern for Pasai and you're looking for like a really low stakes, low stress type of position, um, I'd say PR is a, is a good place to go. Hello everyone, my name is Wilson La and my pronouns are he, him. I'm a third year and my major is sociology and I'm also pursuing a data science minor. 
My hometown is Daly City, California. If you don't know, it's just about like 25 minutes east of here across the Bay Bridge. And some fun factuals about myself. My favorite sushi is yellowtail or hamachi. And I love baking a lot. I like do it. I bake all the time. It's, it's a good way to de-stress whenever, yeah, just at night in the morning, if I'm overwhelmed, I just bake cookies or something. And my cat's names are, that's Benny, right there? And the full ginger one. Is Simba. Simba, say hi. All right, next slide, please. Oh yeah, if I did not say my position yet, I am precise historian. So if you intend under me, what we'll do is take pictures and more pictures and we'll edit those pictures sometimes. And aside from that, we'll also coordinate with the rest of creative. Um, and yeah, we we'll just plan events and socials together. And here's just a, a lot of pictures that I've had from over the years in my time in Pasai. Hello, what's up everybody? Um, my name is Josh and I'm the social chair. Um, I'm a fourth year transfer studying data science and I'm from Santa Clarita, California where the other Josh is from as well. And a little bit about me is I can do the worm. Want to demonstrate? No, um, <laughs> next slide. Sorry guys, I'm in a rush. I'm, I'm watching a lecture right now. Um, all right. As a social chair, what we do is um, plan fun socials and events. Um, you can help set up events and then you can also hang out with me. All right, thank you so much for your time. Hey everyone, so the Poseidon Cakes app is out now. Um, it's at tinyurl.com slash Poseidon 10 FP22. It's also on our Instagram bio, if you wanna access who's there. Um, but yeah, if there's a staffer that stood out to you and you wanna intern for them, or if you wanna be a gem member, please apply. Apps are due next Sunday, February 6th at midnight. Oh, let me snipe this real quick. So additionally, I didn't mention this earlier, but you can also take Poseidon for units. Um, we had that last semester, we have it again this semester. So basically, if you're low on a couple units, say one or two units, even three units, but it'll be a little more work, you could take Poseidon for units. So that'll just be the Poseidon Kicks program, but then you'll just do a couple additional tasks. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, I, I think it doesn't take that much time, that much of your time for the amount of units you're getting. And it's just a good way to um, connect Poseidon to your um, studies, you know, if, if you guys need it. It's good. Um, the code isn't in the form just yet, but I'll add it shortly. And then if you need it for your innocent, it's not still there, just uh, let me know and then I could uh, send it to you. So for some upcoming events for Pasai, we have Calapalooza tabling uh, on the 27th, that's tomorrow from four to 6 p.m. on Zoom. The link for that is also on our Instagram bio on the link tree. And then we have our second info session in person next week, uh, Tuesday, February 1st from 8 to 9 p.m. And that'll be at Wheeler 204. And then that following Friday, we're gonna have our first social. Um, don't know what it's gonna be yet, but we will have one and we will let you know once we have the details. And then on February 1st also, the forum for Pacernates is gonna open. Um, we'll get more details about that at the next info session once everything's finalized, but the performances will be from February 11th through the 14th. And then on February 12th is our IDD from 1 to 4 p.m. So we're gonna open the space up for anybody here that would like to make any announcements for let's say another org you have or another group you're in, um, yeah. Hey, <laughs> um, it's info session season, so we all know um, a couple coming up. I'm not sure who's in the call right now to for the other orgs, but PASS is having theirs also on the first from seven to eight, right before PASI's in-person info session. So y'all can totally make both. Um, PAA's info session is gonna be on the eighth from seven to eight. Um, and of course, like as usual, y'all can find 
info for all these info sessions on Instagram. Um, and then PAC is having theirs this week, I think. I don't know the exact, it's soon. So it's either this week or next week. And then um, I know LFS also has a decal that they're offering this semester. Seems like a really good opportunity. They're doing some really cool stuff. So y'all should check that opportunity out as well. Thank you, Angelo. Um, that's all I know about. Also, uh, for anyone who's interested, the competent mentorship applications are going to be dropping sometime next week, very soon, very, very soon. So, and it's a really cute theme. Y'all are gonna love it. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Naya. Um, this space is still open. Um, I'll give a couple more moments if anyone would like to announce anything. All right, I'll take that, that as a no. Uh, next slide. All right, so Isong Bug Sok. So I'm gonna read through this because um, I don't have it memorized. So to officially close out, we like to end with the Song Bug Sok. For this part, we encourage y'all to unmute yourselves as well, if you're cool with that. If not, then um, I'm just gonna yell in my room um, by myself. The struggles and triumphs of Fil Filipinexes and Filipinex Americans in this country often goes unrecognized. One example is the work of Filipinex organizers, Larry Leong and Philip Veracruz. They had played a huge role in the United Farm Workers Movement with Cesar Chavez, but history brushes them aside and are essentially afterthoughts. As a Philippinex community, it is important to not only acknowledge their work, but celebrate it. And we do this through Isang Baksak. Now at the end of each day, after working and organizing, the farm workers would come together, putting their cultural and language differences aside to perform a unity club. We also recognize the anti-martial law movement of the Philippines against the US Marcos dictatorship in the 1980s. The phrase Isang Baksak began there, representing the numerous Filipinx people rallying for national liberation. Isong Buksak literally translates to one fall, meaning if one falls, we all fall. However, in our community, we take the converse of the phrase and translate it as, if one rises, we all rise. This is a symbol of our solidarity with one another. So I invite all of you to find the beat of your heart because all good things come from the heart. We will then start with the slow clap and accelerate into one large clap and close by saying, Isang Baksak. So first find the beat of your heart. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, the bug sucks. Woo! All right, thank you guys for sliding through to our info session. Um, fill in the sign-in sheet if you haven't already. Um, can someone link the the internet form in the chat? All right, there's the internet form. Um, fill that out. That's the end of this meeting. Thank you guys for coming through. Have a good night.